if you are an api product manager or someone who works in the business of apis you know it's very important for you to know which metrics to track in order to track the success of your apis now api metrics are a little different from the performance platform performance metrics but if you look at the api like a feature you can derive a high level list of sorts that is common between both of these so the high level list would consist of a business perf- performance metrics then growth performance metrics which is the adoption and also the performance actual performance metrics of the uh, api itself now i'm going to walk you through two different types of apis because the goal and the metrics for each of these might be different so the first one is the business api where the goal is to make money uh, by selling these apis and growing the adoption and the second one is the internal apis the goal here is to solve an internal problem and improve efficiency and and maybe the type of metrics that you need to track here are the performance and the cost metrics right so let's look at each of these in a little more detail so like i mentioned earlier there are two types of apis that we are going to be looking at first is the business api which is the external api that is solving a client problem or an actual problem uh, and the second one is internal api which is solving an internal problem with respect to efficiency and processes and the broad category of metrics will be same if you look at specifics metrics are different for each of these so let's start by business apis first So business APIs are type of APIs that you build in order to solve a problem. Now let's take a hypothetical problem you you built an API that enables you to schedule Facebook posts. There are three things that you broadly track in this type of API, right? So you track the business performance and adoption which is the growth metrics. Assume that this is the API that you're selling to customers. So let's look at business metrics first. The goal here is to understand how much money you're making and from where you're getting all of this money, right? So the daily usage to see the revenue how much money you're making per client which is arpu average revenue per user and what percentage of product revenue is coming from this api primarily to understand and prioritize requirements top 3 customers using this api and top 3 industries consuming this api this is primarily to kind of prioritize your growth efforts as well so this was about business metrics let's look at performance metrics now so in performance metrics you need to look at the health of the api per se so the response time the uptime of the api breakdown of time taken to hit a request to facebook for making a post versus the time taken by your api the uptime of the facebook so have, have there been down times a uh, breakdown of failure scenarios by category so if you know apis you know there are error codes so i basically want to understand what's the breakdown of those error codes then rpa supported by the api which is the request per second and important from a performance perspective rpa supported by the source which is facebook in this perspective so you need to know what's the max rps that facebook support and then let's look at the adoption metrics for this api so for adoption you would want to see how many api calls are happening per day week and month to know the trend if the api adoption is increasing decreasing etc a percentage change in the number of api calls number of new acquired clients or users after you launch the service and percentage change in the revenue after this api so all of this comes in adoption metrics any initiative with respect to growth is where you track what you track here so these are three broad categories for an external or client facing apis now let's move on to an internal api where the goal is to improve the to focus more on the performance and reduce costs so for internal performance api let's assume we built an api to take data from excel sheet and post it in an oms an order management system Now there are two broad categories uh, that you need to track here. So the adoption um, may may not be necessary and might come as a part of the business itself. But the goal here is the performance. That's like the most important thing when you're working at with an internal API. So the response time is very important because you're tracking efficiency. The uptime of the API is really important because if it if it's an order management system, it has to be real time and ongoing, twenty four seven. then rpa is supported by the api so if there is a huge bulk of customers that's coming is the api able to handle that breakdown of failure scenarios by categories this is primarily to kind of debug when some issue happens uh, in the api per se and then there are business metrics uh, in order to track the adoption business of the api now business not in terms of revenue but in terms of reduced costs so human cost saved per api call and fra cost per api call and number of api calls made per day so i think broadly that's it for the metrics itself if you have some uh, suggestions with respect to what other metrics to be tracked for the examples we had taken uh, please feel free to add those in the comment section 
um if you like the video please consider dropping a like on this video please also feel free to share this across with a friend and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much